Everything should be fine. So last time in Kingdom Hearts 2, level 1 critical mode, we went ahead, hold on, we completed Hades Cup, just beat it, then after doing that we went ahead and got the scores for Cerberus and Goddess of Fate. Then turned around and defeated Axel and Zaldin. All that's left. Zemnis, Zigbar, and Vexen. And the scores for the parrot all of the Paradox Cups. And I guess Hades counts as a Paradox Cup, even though it's only one fight. Or, there wasn't... It was Gods of Fate in the other one. It, either way. We're gonna start with getting the scores for the first three Paradox Cups. We're gonna prioritize that. Wrong room. My bad. Want to go here. All right. So I have, yeah, I've decided to bunk him because I was fighting Zemnis last time. I got close. I got close to beating Zemnis. Okay. So, if I am correct, this one is the drive gauge. C uh, no, limits can be used with less, less MP. So, we had 1987. We need 2,500. We are going to equip Wishing Lamp. And we're just going to try this as is and see how it goes. I think it will be best if we just start from the beginning. I didn't even get the finisher. That was only like an extra hundred, wasn't it? So I already know that if we uh, take out multiples at the same time, we get way more drops. Thanks, Goofy Tornado. That actually that actually might help. That's I kind of want Magnet. That way they're all kind of grouped together.
I'm actually not sure if this will be enough, but we'll see. 2,500. Didn't really mean to do that, but okay. Come on. Perfect. I'm hoping jackpot will be enough. Oh, yeah, Donald's dead. Ah! Molly! Hey! Come on. You're already need.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Molly's just been needing to go out like all day today. Alright, um... Right. No duck flare for me. I think this might have... Yeah. Might have been the better option to do that. Just hit retry. Try this again, see how it all goes. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's already a better score. There we go. Getting mul multiple kills at the same time. Getting explosion really helps get a lot of damage out there. Come on. I didn't get them in the air. Perfect. That's probably the best we're going to do. Magnet. Gather. Of course I lost there. That's where I'm probably going to get a lot of my points. Try it again. I am wasting MP by going with Magnet, but I think trying to go for Explosion to get a lot of damage and hopefully get a lot of kills that way will be more useful. Because getting multiple kills at the same time gives you a lot more points. So Explosion is really useful. Not 100% sure if any of the other limits would be better for basically multi kills. Go. 
stop your rampage. Get out of here. here okay now we made it back to where I keep losing Magnet. really oh my god <laughs> keep going keep on attempting Just gotta keep doing this. I could throw in a bunch of ethers instead, but. There we go. I'll handle it. Get out of here. Not everyone got hit by the explosion, but a lot I got a lot of multi kills anyway. Have to wait it out. As soon as I didn't get both cars on on screen. Come on, there we go. Perfect. Get out of here. Perfect. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Getting them both in magnet burst also helps. And Dawn's dead. Perfect. Done. done. Oh, double score mode as well. Alright, made it back.
At least Dawn's still alive. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Donald, Thunder's not gonna work. There we go. Finally made it past six. Down seven. Just one doggo? I was kind of hoping I got that in time, but oh well. Alright, Dawn's dead. Might not be the worst idea to heal. Make sure I'm at full health. Because Donald and Goofy are not going to win. If Donald lives or dies, that's fine. I'll be magneting anyway. Okay. Thank you, Goofy. Goofy saved the day right there by getting him in the air. Must survive? I don't even think I need Duck Flare. I think we'll just go ahead and stick with Magnet. Wasn't it 2,500? Get as many points as we can. I don't know if... Don't know if this will be enough. Let's see. Oh good, Donald brought me to full. I think I'm almost... I think I almost made it. I think we're gonna make it. Exactly 2,500. Oh, that's nice. Leon and Yuffie. We could just duck flare. This is not going to be that difficult. I can use an elixir if I need to. At least we're hitting Yuffie with explosion at the same time. And Yuffie's down. Alright, I think I got it.
Let me go ahead and double check. There we go, 2,500. Uh, let's see. Cerberus Cup is the... I, I'm pretty sure that's the... I'm sorry. The forms. So what I'm going to want to do is... We keep wishing lamp. We swap this to ultimate weapon. Actually, I'm going to... I'm going to be using a lot of magic. I'm going to be using a lot of magic. You know what? We'll keep that. Yeah, we can use drives. 1300. That's what we need. Gonna need to get back in the groove again, but Gather. Let's go. that works. Gather. Gotta use shift shot. Okay, that didn't work. Because I really need to get rid of the, the smaller enemies. Gather. That works. These guys are a lot, a lot weaker. These guys are a lot weaker than in Hades Cup. That's for sure. I think I might handle this one a little bit more normally. Right, the time limit. I forgot about the time limit for, for a second. Yeah, again. That round alone. Because I got so many kills at the same time. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. The question is, will I survive? I don't really need magic. Not for this one. Save my MP. Gather. Two thunders do it.
gotta keep him in the air. That was close. But yeah, you have to keep him in the air. There we go. Make sure the shaman's dead. That's really important. Yeah, sometimes I don't even need to go in the final form. Gather. Gather. Doing this to replenish my MP. Refer. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, we're already good. Okay. Cerberus, I think we're there. Yep. Yeah, in final form, I do okay if I just constantly attack. I'm saving my MP. Okay. We're gonna waste it all. Final. I mean, I have plenty of time. Turn around. I know you are. Damn it. What happened there? I got hit by the fireball? That I didn't realize he was actually going to even do? I could just play Cerberus completely safe. Ah, uh, wasted more MP. But yeah, I could just fight Cerberus completely safe. That could work out better. Kind of a weird order, but I made it work. Sometimes getting past this round is the most annoying one. Because some of these guys are just immune. Gather. Just immune to thunder. <coughs> Gather. Okay. Uh, one guy got didn't get hit by the magnet. Fight him normally. Maybe we'll play. Maybe we'll fight Cerberus completely safe. I think that might work better. What did I get hit by? Did he just attack? Oh, there was a an, another one of those flying dudes still alive. That's how I died. I was a little confused. I thought I got rid of them all.
I get rid of you. Again, treat this fight like normal. Get rid of him. Play it safe. Could have probably thundered, but uh, that's okay. Not as big of a score as I would have normally liked. But hey, I gotta take what I could get. Okay, oh, I'm gonna go in final form. I'm wait it out. have a time limit. There's only so much I can wait around. Okay, I have enough for Reflect. That sucks. Oh, wait, did I crash? Hold on, did I crash or is that just my laptop? No, it seems to just be my laptop. I think we're fine. Okay. Wasn't sure. I was kind of worried there. Magnet in time. Oops. Okay. Honestly, that round is the most annoying. Come on! Yeah, I couldn't get away. The one guy just spawned in. Ooh, that was a waste. end up with the same amount. Oh, 
Perfect. Made it past. Took a little bit. Of course the shaman got me. I have to lock onto someone. If I don't, then the shaman's too far away from my magnet, or I need to move forward. Either way, it's kind of annoying. And right now, this hasn't been too bad. It's just getting past certain rounds. I got caught. Great. Gather. What? Are you serious? Fine. Whatever. Thanks, game. Thank you. Stupid. Gather. Fireballs. This is why I need to walk a little bit closer and have the magnet more towards me. Oh well. Okay. This is gonna be a little bit interesting. caught and I ran into that one attack that's what happened Gather. Thunder. Uh, I know I could do this Gather. Light. it won't take much I know it won't No, I hit her magnet. There we go. For some reason, revert didn't go off. That was three. Oh my god. Okay. sucks. Gather. Is this going to be the most annoying one? Probably. This might be the most annoying one. Gather. Just need to basically get past this round. Two, three, four. Okay. That. It's not consistent. It's not a consistent way to get out. That's the annoying part. 
I can't consistently get through that round. Like, every other round, we're more or less consistent. I tried to shift shot, but uh, I needed to air dodge away. Now, well, if only we can get this consistent. Yeah, that has to take two. What if... Yeah, my keyblades are kind of blocking a lot of the attacks. Okay, that's not... That is not going to work unless he's already in the air. But I was blocking a lot of the attacks. So that wasn't the worst idea. the worst idea. In there. Oh, I think shift shot, like, that attack went off and I just kind of ran into it. Okay. He was out of range. Uh, not as good as it could have been, but, you know, what do you do? And I can usually make it all the way to the point score. That's not an issue. Just this guy left. Perfect. One of those will do. Good. I'm out of MP. Of course I get attacked. Uh, it's basically one hit KOs. Man, I can't make it back. I can't make it back to Cerberus. Why can't I do that? Well, I know. It's this next round that usually does it.
What ha no, what happened there? I think the other enemy set up his attack right when I was attacking. So I technically ran into it. That sucks. Don't really know what to do. Here again. So getting a magnet even in final form just kind of groups, groups them all together. That helps. There we go. Perfect. Take what I could get. Finally. I honestly thought. I honestly thought, like, I would have been fine. And I honestly still don't know how he hit me. I, he kind of hit my toe. He basically just hit my toe and that was it. Kingdom Hearts should be added to Fortnite. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if that actually happens, Hawkhorn Dog. With how many crossovers they do... It wouldn't shock me. How's it going, Hawthorne Dog? Has Fortnite partnered with Square Enix on anything? I mean, it would most likely be Final Fantasy if that were to actually be the case, but... I should have magnet. I should have gone for magnet. But that's the thing. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I was going to say Disney wouldn't go for it, but they let Incredibles join. So, yeah, never mind. Yeah, if they let Incredibles freaking go into Fortnite, they probably would let. They probably could let Sora do it. Maybe. We're too high up, but that's okay. Get rid of you. Damn it! So, uh, when did you learn how to sword, sword fight, John Wick? Taught John Wick taught me in Fortnite. You know, with what happens at the end of Kingdom Hearts three, if it's revealed that he just ends up going to Fortnite, I'd be kind of annoyed. Goofy's like, who's John Wick, Sora? 
Oh, uh, you, you don't want to know. Your fragile brain can't handle it. I've seen some stuff, Goofy. I've seen a lot of stuff. You don't want to know. Yeah, so, so far we got the, we got the score in the Pain and Panic Paradox Cup. And we're working on Paradox Cerberus. But I've been having trouble getting past certain rounds. I'm risking it. <laughs> yeah, I need to stop. I need to play it safe. Is Laura Croft a Square Enix character? I honestly don't know anymore. At one point, Square Enix bought her, bought Tomb Raider. But then, I think at one point it was Microsoft. So I don't know who currently has Lara Croft in Tomb Raider. Then no, not yet. Well, that's a maybe then. But at least Tomb Raider makes sense. Thank you, Sora. Thunder. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Doing okay for her right now. I'm almost at the score to total. I just need to get past Cerberus. There, just... Yeah, thunder. I don't care. I need to get, it, get through. Rumors might have been for FF7 Rebirth, but nothing came out of it. I mean... Barret would actually be a perfect fit. But yeah, Barret uses a gun. He would be a perfect fit. Yeah, I'm tired of dealing with this. I'm just gonna go with the safe strategy. I have a time limit, but I think I can make this work. I think I might have plenty of time. The Cerberus can just one-hit KO me.
Yeah, this fire move can still one-hit KO me. Still risky. But that's the thing. I have the score that I need. Okay. Okay. Doesn't matter what form I go in. As long as I get get my MP back. Code elixir if I need to. I'm so close. Okay, I, luckily I have plenty of time. Keep gliding. One more. Thank you. Made it. We got the score needed. Okay, so there might have been rumors for FE7 Rebirth, but nothing came out of it. RN, the collab. Right now, the collab is with rappers. Okay. Uh, and the BP is filled with Fortnite exclusive characters, which people are dubbing sw sweat skins? Further news came out that some Disney characters aren't going to be usable in the base game modes. If people don't want to get skins and not flex on them in Battle Royale game modes. Of course, Disney being Disney just... They have, for some reason, they just want to limit on what you can do with them. Because... I don't know. Okay. Next we need... 10,000 points in Titan mode. That's the summon one. And we're summoning Peter Pan. Can we get the 10,000 points? With Jackpot and Peter Pan, we should have this. Oh, right. I have to summon Peter every time. Forgot that detail. Honestly, round two, round two is very annoying. Okay. What do I do? I think I'm going to wait out. Yeah, wait out my MP. I could have summoned Stitch, too. See, I already beat my score. But can we keep it up? Okay. So we already know I can beat my score. 
I am still going to try just with using Peter Pan. And see if I can make this work. But I may summon Stitch to get my MP back here and there. So if there's a tr oh, hold on. Good, I got the mag magnet burst. Uh, our tryhards are probably going to use the battle point skin since most Fortnite exclusives are pretty slim and such. The hitboxes are harder to hit. Oh, they actually changed the the hitboxes for certain skins. Uh, that's kind of weird. I still have enough for a reflect. Or magnet. Oops. Let's go. Yeah. Who hit me? And you know what sucks? Because this is technically not a death. Peter Pan doesn't revive me. It's technically not a death. That's why during competitions and cup tournaments they have a rule where everyone uses the same skin and team color. Makes sense. Put things on an even playing field. Can I keep up that strat? Summon Stitch. I want my MP. Dismiss. Peter. One left. I don't know how he escaped the magnet, but okay. Peter Pan is acting like he's a genie with that tech technicality. Yeah, pretty much. Give me strength. Glide around for a little bit. Damn it. I wasn't able to really get Peter Pan back, but I couldn't really afford to attack anyone. <laughs> Try that again. I don't know why it targeted over there. It wasn't targeting anyone. Yeah, the, the bad part is I also just need multi-kills. There's only so much I could do. Okay. 
doing okay. Doing okay. Yeah, Peter's all like, oh, I'm sorry. This is a tournament. You can't... You can't use me for revive. Sitch, took you a while. This is a tournament. It's not a death. And you know, what's funny is, you know, we have Genie as a summon. You know, Genie is a summon. And he has the technicality to be like, oh, I just don't do anything. Oh, great. Okay, how am I going to get past this round? I think I just need to play a little bit more carefully. Yeah, I'm hoping to get the score for this one, and then we'll go back to data rematches. Okay. Mav MP. Get Stitch. Dismiss. Peter. Oh, one didn't take. Uh, for some reason, one didn't make it through. Hmm. I need to keep Peter around. There's no time limit. I could just wait it out. There's no harm. There's absolutely no harm. Oh, I know what I could do. I know exactly what I can do. Molly, what are you doing? Okay, this didn't really go as well as I was hoping for. Well, I made it through. That's all that matters. I have one magnet. I can wait it out. I can wait it out. That's fine. Actually. I keep forgetting I have this. That, I can use that when I'm... When I still need MP. Dragoons. Okay. What do we got? I don't... I don't even know. 
Yeah, I got a magnet. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. at full health again. I don't know if I'm going to make this. Oh, you got Zombie Scarlet Witch? Very cool. I didn't make it. I did not make it. Because Hercules doesn't drop orbs. I did not make it. I was like 2,000 points off. That sucks. I thought I could make it work with just Peter Pan, but you really can't. That is not possible. I mean, maybe if I got a little bit lucky with certain, uh, like if, if more enemies were grouped together and got killed at the same time. If I got a little bit more lucky on enemy placements, but to be honest, I, I don't know if that would be enough. Yeah, you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm, I wasn't going to win anyway. You finished the zombies campaign. I got lucky enough with shards to get her at two yellow stars. Unfortunately, she is a premium character, so that means... No free-to-play option until next year for her. But they always overturn, uh, overtune the zombie, so they are viable in low stars and dominant max stars. So for right now, it's not free-to-play, but when they do make her free-to-play, they're going to buff the hell out of her. Interesting. Okay, so I need to try the normal way to max out on points. The question is... Can I make it work? I need a... S I need a single hit on me. A single hit. Come on. Ah, uh, that would have done it. I'm pretty sure that would have done it. I was... Uh, uh, maybe not a single hit, but, you know, it has to be a strong enough hit to put me in the red. Okay, apparently, that is too strong. But, if that is slightly too strong, what if I put up a item that's a defense plus four? I'm not really using thunder. I'm going to play this carefully. We're going to find the right amount. We're going to find that right number. We're looking for their charge move. Come on. Do your thing. No time limit. We can take our time. I think there's a better spot. Round three is probably better. But... 
Come on, do your freaking... Do your attack. Okay. That's not enough. We're gonna... We're gonna experiment and find the right defense value. Let's find a defense of five. Okay, defense of five is not enough. I want to try to survive on one HP. So, let's go with the cosmic belt. Okay, we need that one move. Again, come on. Come on, I really need... One of you to do that move. I mean, that works, but I really want to try to get as low HP as possible. Buster Band's not enough. But I already know for a fact that that's my highest defensive item. You know, a single defensive item. Six, uh, six is the max. So let's take the next one. We'll add the power band. I want to try to survive on one HP. We're going to find a way to do it. And I already know I could get hit by the Dusks and get into the red. Like, that's not an issue. But I'm not at 1 HP. Come on. Getting these guys to do the move I want them to use is kind of annoying. Because I never use it. Not enough. Yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep messing with this. Defense value of five. Uh, let's see. About the zombie story currently has Hella versus Ares. So the story was now that the first Ares set up some best of war teams against her. Once she beat them, she could challenge him. She wins against them and was able to challenge Ares. Uh, uh, she was able to challenge Ares. She won because Zombie Scarlet Witch... Ares congratulates her and pr uh, promises next time he'll be back. He'll be back stronger. Okay. So it seems like they're trying to wrap it up soon. So we're seeing Ares be nice. God of War and him having a villain tag in Strike Force has forever ruined his reputation. For right. And you got you got her two yellow stars. Unfortunately, she is a premium character that. Right. Right. Okay. I read that. I'm sorry, did I try Buster Band? I don't remember. I kind of lost track. I'm going to try it again. The other option to try to make something like this work, because I don't think I can make or buy more, like, Buster Bands. The other option would to be, like, gr uh, fight Saix multiple times, because he's the easiest fight. Data Saix. And just get date, uh, defense boosts. Come on. Do your thing. Stop it. Why are you just riding, uh, you know, right next to me? Doing nothing. So dumb. Why do these guys just do nothing? What's with their AI? I think that one was gonna start doing it. Come on. Okay, yeah. I don't remember if I tested this one out already. Okay. Time to add the power band.
Try it again. Still not enough. Do I have another item with four defense? I think the ribbon does have four defense. Yeah. I am pretty sure these two don't have... Yeah, okay. So this is the best I can do at the moment when it comes to pure defense. My current defense value is 25. Twenty-five is my current defense. Oh. Okay. Not what I had planned. But that works too. Apparently I can survive the multi-hit. Now we just sit and wait. Since I basically ended up at 1 HP, we could just sit here until our health gets back into the... Get, gets back to full health. Not full health, but out of the red. Now, I was 2,000 points away last time. If we can at least get maybe 3,000, that'd be nice. I probably only need to use Sitch one time. Okay, yeah. Nearly 2,000. I may have to summon Stitch again, and that will be... F okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, I should have... I need to have summon boost equipped. That would make a difference. Yeah, next time I need to make sure to have summon boost. Hey, Monzai, how's it going? Been a little while. I'm working on trying to get the score for... Uh... Uh, for a uh, paradox titan and I need 10,000 okay I'm okay with this we kind of have an idea of what I need to do tired ah it is what it is did you not uh, did you not stream on Monday Monzai I might have been busy for all I know summon boost there we go Yeah, we need 10,000 points. And now that I know I can survive... Uh, hit, uh, this guy's multi-hit. Just purely on... That works. And with form boost, Stitch is gonna stick out, stick around for a little bit longer. Couldn't stream, had an appointment. Uh, uh, yeah, life happens. It, I get it. It is what it is. Didn't you say you're gonna try doing Wednesday streams now? Is that- are you gonna do that today, or are you saving that for a little later? Today fell through due to not sleeping well. Uh, how did you injure your hand while you were asleep? I understand, like, you know, laying on your hand and, like, if your arm being asleep, but how did you injure it? Am I 
might be able to get 3,000 points out of this. Uh, maybe, I don't know about 3,000. Something bit it? Maybe? That's weird. That is very strange, Monzai. Hope it doesn't take long to uh, heal up. Okay, hold on. Okay, this is a little bit safe. my MP back. And with this, as long as I don't lose, if I don't die, I think I can get the score. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a good thing I showed up. You, you made a lot of progress during that stream. Uh, who's next on your list? Are you working on the, basically, the international areas? Okay. You know what, let's go with this since I have no MP. Sadly, this doesn't that didn't work as well as you'd hope. Oh, good. Good, made it. Find the shade man twice. I'm getting stitched out here. I'm playing it safe. I am hoping that won't mess up later. What did I get hit by? No, seriously, what did I get hit by? Yeah, sorry, hold on. Let me go ahead and uh, get in here. Uh, Thunderman, Coldman, Windman, Kendo, Search, and then Shademan twice. Coldman should be easy with Tony Folder. Yeah, and doesn't he stay in the back row? So you just need, like, one area grab and you're good. Um, Thunderman telegraphs quite well. Similarly difficulty to Burman. And he also stays in the back row most of the time. So you can predict that. 
Wind man, you gotta rely on top top man and boost, probably. And isn't it the same situation as roll where you can use uh get in three? Or was it two? The one that creates all the holes and then repair. Then trap them with sand. Kendo man? Oh, Kendo man is gonna be super simple, Monzai. Search man not cl no sh no clue how it go. I'm honestly not sure about search man either. Get in two, but okay. Windman has air shoes. Okay, so that's not going to work. So he'll flow over holes. That's going to be tricky. You're going to have to. Uh, I don't know what you're going to have to do there. Uh, yeah, Kendo Man is going to be super simple. One of his attacks, he'll hit you, hit behind you. But if you stay in the back row, he'll never do that move. So, what you can do is, he'll only charge at you when he's lined up with you. So, that's your perfect time to get a counter on him. Because as soon as he lines up, he charges. Then you, So, as soon as he lines up, you can Vulcan him. Get the counter, and then set everything up. It's very easy. Trust me. Kendo Man's going to be super simple. You might want to start with him with how easy he's going to be. Uh, top man freezes time, so you just need to hit with that. And luckily, unlike something like Video Man, where those uh, tapes popped up and got rid of some of the tops, you might not have to worry about that. Uh, the good news with Windman is he likes to stand in the front center panel. Really? So perfect for Top Man. Very nice. Oh, that works too. Time to wait here. You know, I could probably get... You know what I probably could do? Is... Heal myself to full. Let's stitch leave. Then get hit by one of those attacks again. And then just let this work. And do that just a couple times. If I do that, then I can keep Stitch out. And it'll probably make the rest of the tournament a little bit easier. I may try doing that. I will not be doing Hades Cup today. For, for the score, because that's just going to take forever. I want to make that basically its own stream. But yeah, to be honest, uh, I feel like Windman is going to be very difficult for you to try to get under 10 seconds. Probably just as difficult as Roll was. Although Roll, you know, you could get in. Uh, you might have to just trap him in the back row with, like, area grabs. Because I don't know what else you could do. And then tornado him with the right timing? I am not sure. Okay, full health. I'm looking for... for... Do it again. Stitch. Stitch. No. Uh, okay, that's fine. Thank you. He wasted some time, but hey. We can get uh, a lot more score out of this. I think if I do this three times, it will be enough. And I'll still have plenty of points left over. And then I could just keep Stitch around. That way I could use magic to really win everything. Sadly, my uh, thunders are not going to deal as much damage, but that's okay. Boom, boom, play through. When you re-chip grind the bosses, non-unique, you're just going to bust your max. 
I guess so. I mean, you already showed the playthrough one time. Hell, when I replayed Battle Network 1 on my own time, when the Legacy Collection came out, because the year prior is when I, uh, LP, uh, basically streamed Battle Network 1. Uh, I still didn't use Buster Max on my normal playthrough. I just, it just seems too cheap, honestly. It doesn't seem fun. And, that, and that's because maybe I just know the game a little too well that there's many builds you can do that makes the game go fast. You've already proven, proven your skill, I get that. But I think it, I think it probably just sucks the fun out of it. Besides, in Battle Network 1, at least in my example, getting the base chip is enough. <laughs> Once you got the base chip, that's all you needed. If you, if you get that in a normal fight, that basically just takes out any virus battle. So there are, there are still plenty of ways to cheese fights just throughout the normal game without the use of Buster Max. That's just kind of my mindset. Thanks, Stitch. This should be... This should be enough for points. Stitch, go back... Do the thing. Thank you. I probably won't be able to heal immediately. It's probably Magnet, Summon Stitch again, then heal, more or less, something like that. I don't even think I've toggled on Buster Max. To me, it just kind of seems like it sucks the fun out of it. Even if I already proven whatever skill I've shown off, you know? The only reason I can see you trying to use Buster Max is if, for example, you're going to, like, a Battle Network tournament, and most of the time it's six, and you're using your, like, your Switch version or something, but you need to play through the game as fast as possible, so you can get to end game, so you can start grinding for stuff. I can see that, just to speed things along, because you're trying to do PvP. Because really, don't need to go out of your way to get some SP chips with the exact same folder you did in Red Sun. Just be like, okay, just do it again. Put it in the I get that. I get that. No, I understand. But, to be honest, I don't know how much Buster Max is actually going to change things for... Assuming you're going for the under 10 seconds again. And you know what? We're close enough. Keep Stitch around. I'll get my 10,000. But one thing I did not do is, and I kind of forgot about it. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Uh, I did not know, I forgot about to do multiplayer in uh, Battle Network 4. Because apparently if you fight the other version and you win, you power up the Red Sun and the Blue Moon chips. That is actually something I never knew about. Like, I, I didn't even know those chips could be powered up. Do you happen to know how much you could power them up? Other records also power up SP chips? Yeah, if you were to somehow give records to yourself, you can just get all of your SP chips done. Or most of them. It was supposed to be the idea of how you you were supposed to get a powered up version of the other of the other version's chip, 
because you <laughs> technically you're not supposed to get that chip during the main playthrough. So, like, that was supposed to be how you got a powered-up chip. Stitch. I don't know why he's not helping me. But yeah, in Battle Network 5 and 6, that's just how you're going to have to power up those SP chips anyway. Not going for under 10 seconds in Blue Moon, other than the Navis. Uh, the Blue Moon, the 6 Blue Moon Navis. Okay. But yeah, do you happen to know how much you can power up the Red Sun Blue Moon chips by? If I remember correctly, the base power of Blue Moon is what? 500? Or is it 400? And isn't Red Sun per hit like 50 damage? And it hits like I don't know, six times. trying to do there we go perfect goes from 100 to 500 damage right and that's a multi-hit move And I'm dead. Okay. 200 to 600. Okay. And do you happen to know how many fights that would, that would take? Come on, I need one of you to attack me. I'm resetting after that. Oh, the increase is only for the final hit? Not for the other ones? I mean, it's still a multi-hit move, so you know it's good. I have to do all this all over again. That's annoying. Gotta wait for these guys to actually attack me. And I don't know why they're not doing anything. Well, that works. Rather have it be the single hit, but, you know, what do you do? And Blue Moon goes to 600. Um, that makes it way more usable, that's for sure. Uh... It's a hundred bat, hundred wins. Okay, I didn't realize it. It was that much. 
the damage output must go up by like five every time or something. Why are these baubles not... Huh. Look at these two. I can't grab them. They're just kind of sitting there, menacingly. It's weird. Uh... Yeah, the damage output for, like, the Blue Moon one must only go up by, like, five points each or something. Actually, that's not even enough. It must go up... Because if it was five points each, it would get to, like, 400. So, yeah, to get to 600... Yeah, I'm not sure. Actually, it might be, like, what, four points each? No, I, I don't even know. I'm doing my math wrong. Not really thinking. But yeah, I didn't realize you had to win 100 fights just to make that work. And even then, like, even if it is a 600-point attack, it only hits a single square, so it's very difficult to line up. And you're better off with using, like, the base chip. Because that at least hits four times. And with some attack pluses, you could definitely make that work a lot more. The Red Sun Chip, even if it only hit even if it only works on the final hit. If, even if it only works on the final hit, uh, the Red Sun one still gets a multi-hit move. That can be powered up. Stitch? Oh. Wait. Why am I not? I thought I fully healed. What happened? Damn it. I'm starting over. I'm gonna have to sit here. But this is, this is the way to win. This is the way to get the score counter. This is the normal way to do it. This is just how you normally get the score counter. At least with the normal version of Cerberus Cup, Peter Pan is enough. But with this one, we kind of need Stitch and need to set this up correctly. And not much going on on my end. Didn't really get to do much yesterday. Put a little bit of Poke Rogue and kind of powered up some Pokemon a little bit. I have the... I have a combo in Poke Rogue right now. I haven't messed around with it yet, but... Because I'm trying to work on some other... Some other mons. But... In Poke Rogue, I have a Shroomish. A Shiny Shroomish. And it has Poison Heal and its passive ability is Guts. So if I give it a Toxic Orb... It's now getting the attack buff, and it's, uh, getting healed by it. It's kind of a stupid combo, and I love it. But yeah, once we're done getting the score done for this, uh, for this, uh, tournament, we're going to fight basically fight Zemnus again. This switch is almost done. Heal up. So I have no clue why I didn't... Oh, did I accidentally get hit by a Dusk instead? That might have been it. Oh, yep. He needs to give me my MP back. That's fine. And for some reason, there's this one bobble right here.
But yeah, I, I don't see myself streaming Battle Network again since I completed all six. The only reason I would probably boot one of them up is probably to play Gregar, because at least that one has a different final boss, and it's different enough to where I could see a different playthrough of that. But I don't, I don't know how much I would consider that. But I need to consider a battle chip challenge. It is canon. I have, I, I have to count it. I just don't want to. I just don't want to. Um, play quote unquote battle chip challenge. Not right now. There's other important games. Honestly, I think I'd rather play 4.5. Huh. Molly, oh, what? I give you a little bit of attention and now you want more. Nope, nope, Molly, stop. Stop. Oh, I got hit by that move. Um, yeah, okay. I didn't realize that move wouldn't have been enough. Damn it, I'm sorry. Come on. Let's go. And it's all about getting hit by the correct move. Or the correct two moves. Yeah, I know this is a little dull, but this is just what needs to be done. It will just make the rest of the fights a little bit easier. Don't have to rely on Peter. We hit the high score again. What else is new, though? So, I, I've been booting up Pokemon TCG Pocket. And I've been trying to...
I am back. Let me swap it over. Molly's good. That being said, if the cat starts whining and makes Molly bark, then I'm going to have to step away again and take care of that. But for right now, we're fine. Man, those orbs are just staying there. Oh, yeah. Not much going on. Got some time. What's going on on the internet? Well, yeah, uh, so... TCG... If you get the corresponding, like, main card, in this case, it would be like a Pikachu EX or a Venusaur EX, it'll give you a rental deck based on that card. But then if you do, if you end up getting all the cards that are in that deck, you get that deck preset permanently. And you can modify it as you wish. And right now with this Pikachu one, I need two elect. Wait, is it electric? What are these? Yeah, electrics and elect and a single electros. But since we're talking booster packs, you know it's the traditional RNG. Honestly, the odds for the booster packs, you can get nothing good. I think when uh, Caleb Mon showed up yesterday, he said someone put in like a hundred or two hundred dollars into it. Spent it all on booster packs and got absolutely, like, nothing. So it feels like the odds are pretty bad. Okay. Gotta be careful. Sish will probably heal my MP. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Good. We're safe. Once Stitch is about to uh, end, I will magnet and s just start fighting. But yeah, this Pikachu EX one is pretty good. Because uh, the Pikachu EX one, there is, uh, it has a move, it only costs like two energy. And, oops, come on. It only costs 2 energy, and it does 30 damage for every Pokemon you have on the bench. So with 3 Pokemon on the bench, and that's the max you can have, you can deal 90 damage. And that is very easy to achieve. It really doesn't take much. But yeah, I only need like 2 more cards just to kind of get that deck preset permanently. And it's kind of in, like, its own mission section, so. My achievement hunting brain just wants to try to complete it. But the only one I have that's a full preset is, like, the Venusaur one. And Venusaur EX is pretty good. Once you get it full, once you get him fully set up, you need, like, four energy. But once you get that fully set up and ready to go... Uh, it's 100 damage, and then Venusaur just heals 30 HP to himself. Okay. There we go. He didn't give me back my MP. That's gonna suck. Oh. That's, uh, not a part of the plan. Let me go ahead and magnet. Stitch, you were just... Okay, you did heal my MP. Good, 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 good. One didn't, didn't make it through. Because of that. That works. Okay. 
thunder. That'll work. stops all of these guys attacks I guess it's technically like a weird fire move and not a physical attack stitch MP no okay Use the MP stitch, thank you. Explosion's not really hitting anyone. There, use thunder. That works. Magnet burst. your attacks. Perfect. That could have gone bad. There was that self-destruct move. Okay. Are we at the annoying one? Yes. I need to play this very carefully. Ooh. That works. Stops, Stitch also stops the rocks as well. Okay. Okay. I, I stopped one. Perfect. Let's go. Just play it safe and use my magic. Use my thunder. Just stay away from him. Just back away. Never get close. Stitch, why are you not giving me magic? Stitch. He's just being a little brat, isn't he? Be careful. I could always just summon him again. I could summon Peter as well. Actually, I could also just summon Genie and just spam uh, Wisdom Form Limit. That might actually work out okay. If I run out for Stitch, I'll consider Genie. Three, four. Oh. Yeah, play it completely safe. 
Don't get close. Yeah, it's four thunders. Too bad I don't have any shock charms to make this go faster, but that's okay. Look how less, how much less damage I'm actually take, doing to him without my shock charms. Does it Disney own Family Guy? Maybe. Uh, yeah, they own. They have. They bought Fox, so they have Family Guy and they have Simpsons. Theoretically, Simpsons and Family Guy could be in the next Kingdom Hearts game. I don't see how you can make that work. Like, I don't know how you can effectively make it work anyway. At least Simpsons has the arcade, the arcade game. So you can kind of base it on that somewhat, but honestly, you don't have much to work with. Stitch, why are you not MPing me? Stitch. Thanks, Stitch. Oh, that sucks. Oh, we know the drill. We know the drill. Come on. One of you needs to hit me. Nope. Oh, that's annoying. I'm sorry. I'll try Genie next time. Hopefully it won't take me that long to get back. But yeah, theoretically there could be a Family Guy in the Simpsons world if they really wanted to. I don't know if Nomura really cares and has that much passion to do either of those worlds, but yeah, theoretically. But honestly, the theories are Star Wars and Marvel. Those are the theories right now. But we actually don't really know what's going on with Kingdom Hearts. We haven't heard anything in a long time. So at this point, it's just like, wait patiently until they actually give us information. Because I think they're also working on... There was also like a mobile game they were working on. Missing Link, I believe. And that seemed to have disappear for a little while as well. So I have no clue what's going on. But it's entirely possible that Nomura is just like wanting to focus on like one project at a time. And not want to split his focus. And after the second Final Fantasy 7 remake. I don't know if he's going to be prioritizing the third one or the next Kingdom Hearts. I don't know what's going on. I wouldn't mind a new Kingdom Hearts anytime soon, but yeah, we haven't really heard anything. We don't even have a trailer for Kingdom Hearts 4, like a teaser trailer or anything. So, at least not that I'm aware of. So we're just all kind of in the dark. I think it's just Nomura's taking, taking on way too many projects at the same time. I mean, that was a thing for a little while during the... While on the wait for Kingdom Hearts 3... That was part of the problem. He was, he was director for so many different, for so many of the different projects going on. His focus was being split. And Kingdom Hearts three, the first reveal trailer, like, was revealed in like 2013, and it didn't come out until 2019. Come on. Ha. 
I'm so oh my god. I can't get hit by dust. It has to be these red guys, and it has to be two out of the three moves. But yeah, I think during that first reveal trailer, the reason why it took so long was Nomura was working on, like, he was director for, like, Final Fantasy XV, and there might have been a couple other games he was director on. So his focus was being split in multiple directions. Not to say Nomura's perfect or anything, he's... As we go on, like, some of his decisions are just like, come on, dude. Come on. You're an idea guy. You need someone else to make it work. Again, in Kingdom Hearts 3, he completely forgot about, like, the Final Fantasy characters. He completely forgot all about them. And I think he even said that he didn't add them in because he couldn't remember who he introduced or not and what they were doing. At that point, it's be like, okay... There's a simple fix there. You can either play through the games yourself, but that would take a little bit, but not nearly as... It wouldn't take nearly as much time. Uh, just to do a quick refresher of the games you, uh, that you made. Or... You get people... Uh, you look up, like, plot... Uh, uh, like, YouTube stuff that just explains the plots of the different games and figure out what you have done and what you haven't. It's pretty simple, actually. Bro forgot how to open a wiki. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it felt like. We eventually got Final Fantasy characters in the DLC. The kind of cameo characters. Because it's the Hall of Bastion gang. Or Radiant Garden gang, I guess, now. Uh, but I, I it, feel, it felt like the only reason they showed up as cameos is because Nomura's like, oh... He heard the backlash, you know? People are like, where are the Final Fantasy reps? Isn't this a Disney Final Fantasy crossover series? Where's the Final Fantasy? And then Nomura's like, fine, you'll get your Final Fantasy. Yeah, honestly, it just felt like it would have been a simple fix. Now, to be fair... Okay, I don't know if this is a to-be-fair moment, but in Kingdom Hearts 3, we don't go to Radiant Garden. We do go to Twilight Town for a little bit. And you want to know who's in Twilight Town that, you know, Nomura just didn't put in? Cypher, Rot, Fu and Rai, and Vivi. They don't even make a cameo appearance. And those are all Final Fantasy characters that are already pre-established. They don't even make a cameo. Not even Setzer either. Setzer doesn't even get a cameo, and he was barely a part of this. Like, none of the ca Final Fantasy characters that were in Twilight Town make a cameo. That's how much he, like, forgot. And didn't even bother to open up a wiki. It's kind of annoying. Because it's just a simple fix. It's not like they did anything in 2. I was going to say, now that I think about it, there were no Final Fantasy reps in uh, Dream Drop Distance, but we did get a different Square Enix uh, cameo game, basically, so I, I think we were all okay with that. It wasn't Final Fantasy, it was, a, it was a crossover with World Ends With You. But it's still a Square, at that point, it's a Square Enix crossover. But since that door's been open, can we get a Dragon Quest crossover? I'm pretty sure there's other Square Enix games that could be crossed over, too. That we could cameo in future games. Alright, there we go. Now we're set up. Stitch. Get back to your... Get back to your post. And you know, like, part of the other problem is, like, in Kingdom Hearts 3, we don't get answers to certain, like, Final Fantasy questions. 
or Final Fantasy related questions in this series. Like, you know how when we beat Sephiroth in this game, Cloud and Sephiroth had that anime battle and then they just disappeared? We don't, we still don't know what happened to them. We still don't know what's going on. There is still no answer to that. In Birth by Sleep, we get a cameo from Zack. And now, there could be implications on what happened to him, but we don't get a clear answer. Uh, in Kingdom Hearts 3, we go to Olympus again. And Oron's not there, although I think it's implied that he just kind of went to the afterlife at the end of this game in the credits, so maybe that's maybe that's the answer. So I'm not that upset about that. And hell, I if I remember correctly, it was either Birth by Sleep or Actually it might have just been Birth by Sleep. Uh there were talks that Nomura wanted to get Lightning and Vincent in there in the game. Or maybe I'm thinking of the develop early development of Kingdom Hearts 3, but n they didn't follow through, so I don't know what was going on. Actually, that sounds like a birth by sleep thing. I'm thinking about it. Man, doing this takes like five minutes just to get another attempt. Another proper attempt. Without messing up. That didn't last long. Some reason they weren't affected by magnet. it out. Uh, this is not a good setup. Haha, <sighs> <laughs> this sucks. And again, now I gotta set it up all over again. And it's very hit and miss on what these guys do. Okay. At this point, I'm just kind of checking my phone to see what else is going on. This is not much to do for like a, a two minutes. Yeah, not much going on. Not that I see. Uh, how long does doing round one actually take to properly set up? I mean, I know it varies, but it does take a while. At least I'm... If I could get it done today, at least that part's taken care of. The Hades Cup is going to be... Far more boring to get, to get through. But I can't just stand here during the Hades Cup score part. Now, I could swap my Keyblade around. I have a stronger Keyblade to work with. It's just that Jackpot makes this go faster. But technically, I don't need Jackpot. But I 
I think I would probably need to set Stitch up an extra attempt or two. I don't know. So we might still be better off with Jackpot. Okay. Set, set it up. Thank you. Oh, Hades Cup is just gonna suck. Because let's say, even on my first attempt, you know, I get the 1500 on round 47. I still have to, one, finish round 47. Which requires me to defeat, uh, to magnet and defeat the Assault Riders and then the Morning Stars with the Trumpet guys immediately after. Then I gotta defeat Cerberus, and we know how that, how that goes. It takes a little while, but it can be done. But then it's, I gotta do the Leon, Cloud, Yuffie, and Tifa fight again. Oh, that's going to be stressful. And again, one screw up. Just a single screw up. All that time is wasted. And it's probably going to take like... It's probably going to take about three hours. I, I don't know how long it would actually take to get to the 1500. Just by using round 47 alone. But... Yeah, it will take a while. Definitely need something else going on at the same time, for sure. I don't think it would be possible, but what if we, like... Set up, like, YouTube stuff. Just watch some videos while I'm working on it, but, like, that'd still be hard to set up. I don't know. They're, they're, I feel like we would need something else to pass the time. the drill. Once we get close, we'll magnet and attack like normal. Get my MP back, and then we'll get an actual attempt. And when we make it to Herc, we'll try G Wisdom Form Genie and just spam limits. See how well that goes. There's risks involved, but there's always risks involved. there. Uh, did they get too high up or something? What happened there? Or was it because I moved? That was weird. Okay, good. Perfect. I think I wasn't wrong. I think it does take about like five minutes to set this all up.
Hey, Lord Jefferson, how's it going? Trying to get the score in Paradox, uh, Paradox, uh, Titan Cup. And I made it to Herc a couple times. But then I get hit a single time. And I die. Well, what's been going on, Lord Jefferson? I finished the, the score challenges for Paradox, Pain and Panic, and Cerberus. Just got done with Chef's Call. Okay. Really hope to get this done in this attempt. No, 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 oh! This is not, this is not annoying whatsoever. I really hate Berserkers so much. Okay, we got rid of one. Oh, that's done. That round's done. Yeah, we had to we have to get 10,000 points to get to finish off the Jiminy's journal section. And basically it requires me going to round 1 get hit by a single attack so I'm at 1 HP and then summon Stitch. And then he just plays his ukulele and drops the score bobbles and I do that 3 times before I'm I have enough points. Other than Chef's Call, how have you been doing today? What's been going on? Or is it Chief's Call? I don't know. I'm kind of half paying attention. There we go. Made it work. Learn some more about fighting fires abo aboard ships. Huh? That stuff similar to that. Interesting. Uh, can you uh, can you be a little specific? Not much going on, so I don't mind any of the conversation. Any conversation right now. Stitch, give me my MP. Oh, that could have been bad. again Let's go. isn't this fun I got like six minutes to kill before I move on we just sit here and do basically nothing for six minutes until I get my 10,000 That wasn't even up against Hercules. Round 9 is 
the most difficult. Oh yeah, how do you fight fires aboard ships? Hull technician in the Navy, so that includes any and all upkeep for the hull of the ship. Includes fighting fires, okay. Are you able to pump water out of the ocean and just use that? I don't know. I know nothing about this subject. Yeah, not much going on on my end. I feel like I only made... I feel like I didn't make as much progress as I would like today. I still want to try to get the score done. But we'll see. These hoses that use seawater. Okay. But the salt in it means that you have to clean up after every use because the salt erodes the equipment. Ah! So I was... I was right about pumping water from the ocean, or from the water, but that cleanup must be annoying. Okay. Two more times. Perfect. Yep. Uh, MP me. There we go. Perfect. You get used to it? I bet. Hopefully you don't have to do that too often, but yeah, who knows. I... So I'm assuming you're not on a, a Navy, uh, on a boat yet. Are you going to be uh, deployed soon? Or are you just training right now? Or do you... Is it... Uh, do you have an estimate on when you might be... Be going on the boat? You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be deployed in February. Very cool. On a destroyer. Okay. I I don't know anything about ships, but sounds cool. Uh, I guess when you're de when you're deployed on on any of the ships, do, uh, how long are you typically out at sea? safe yet. The stitch might give me my MP back. Yep. There it is. Come on, stitch. There you go. Perfect. And again, this little slower bobble over there is just sitting here. I don't know why. It just is. Could depend on the mission, but usually for it's for six months. And about a three-month shore period. Okay. So it's more of you're on the boat for three months, and then you're on the shore for three months. And, and then you're done for a little while. Okay.
We're almost there. I mean, Stitch has to basically get back to his final drive gauge for me to actually do something. But yeah, if you ever do a Kingdom Hearts level... Kingdom Hearts 2 level 1 run, uh... I don't think getting the score on some of these tournaments are... Or, if anything, getting the score on, on all of these tournaments are even necessary at all. I'm just doing it for completion's sake. Just to be like, oh, can it even be done? Yes, it can. It's just annoying. But I guess I have something to prove. Whatever that is, I don't know what it is, but apparently I do. A lot of the other fights I would recommend just because it's fun, but score challenges for for the cups, not really. Set up another one. Okay, good. Uh, they'll repeat for five or so years, then you might get short command for three years. Okay, okay. So there's an end goal there. But you're saying you're basically on the boat for three months and then on shore for another three months. Uh, what about the other half of the year? Is it a rinse repeat or are you, uh, are you just on like, yeah, what are you doing for the other half? Oh good, I stopped that attack. Or is it six months on a boat, three months on the shore? Did I misread that? I don't know. Sorry, I'm only, I can only focus so much. Oh yeah, six months and then a three shore period, okay. So more like nine months, okay. I think I'm, yeah, I misread that, I think, so, yeah, okay. Not. Okay, that works. Sitch. Oh, I got hit. That's not good. Okay, no, what hit me? What what did I get hit by? I it might have been the pirate or something. Uh, I gotta set this up again. I wanna finish this, but I know I gotta do stuff. Hmm. Three months, then the ship is on port, is under maintenance, you're still a part of the ship. Yeah, I get that. All of this is called sea duty, and it lasts about five years. Shore duty is when you are stationed on a port or base instead of the ship. Right. So, it's more of the total job is... is five years. Okay, wait a minute. For the three months... That the ship is on port is under maintenance, okay. But you still gotta be a part of it. All of this is sea duty. Lasts about five years. Shore duty is when you're stationed at a port or base instead of a ship. So, I guess if you're out at sea for six months and then you're doing shore duty for three months, do you then go back out to sea immediately after that, or do you get, like, three months off? 
Or are you, or are you on, uh... Or are you stationed on a port for those three months? Sea Duty has hazard pay bonus. I mean, I would bet it does. It better. I know this is thrilling gameplay, but like... <laughs> it is what it is. Back out to sea until the five year ends for the sea duty. Okay. Just keep rinse repeating. Okay. And uh, after the five years, are you hoping for... Uh, what was it? The shore command? Is that what you're hoping for after that? Or what do you got planned after? Or is that too far away right now? Just trying to make any sort of conversation right now to pass the time. Shore duty. That way you could be on base, but anything can happen. As that will be a part of new contract. I see. Okay. Well, at least you got an end goal there. Basically, basically, it sounds like you are doing sea duty for five years, basically for the, for lack of a better term, work experience, and then use your experience there to be promoted to shore duty and that would be like a permanent job for you or whatever contract it is. At this point, I feel like there needs to be a ukulele emote now. With how much we have to rely on Stitch, I feel like we need an ukulele emote. Maybe that's an idea for the next time I order emotes. Set. Come on. There we go. It's not safe yet, though. Because of that. Stitch, come on. Thank you. Now it's safe for a little while. Contract is usually three to five years. Right. Actually, no. I don't think I would need an emote. You know how, like, some Twitch channels will have, like, little uh, animations that play, like, most of the time it's when people follow or something? But what if I were some sort of animation? It's just this little stitch. Uh, just have this little stitch uh, animation play and that's it. I feel like at this point there needs to be something involving with this. Almost ready to actually make another attempt and yeah it does take about like six or seven minutes to set this up why do you ask you don't have to use round one for this you could probably set this up on any round it's just once you get it in round one you know you know you're not wasting too much time in the other rounds wait why don't I just set this up in round nine I mean, I still would have to do the normal fight, but then I wouldn't have to do... Why don't I just do round... Fight... Do round nine? 
Ah, I'm not thinking. I mean, we'll do the f we'll do the fights like normal, but I might just go with round nine, assuming I could get my HP low enough in round nine. Has to be from the right enemy. That's an idea. I don't have the ability to smack him into the air. To toggle that off. Circus take priority. There we go. Okay, just the sniper. Match five is pretty easy. There we go. Perfect. Ah, uh, this fight. Okay. Magnet, Sitch, Magnet, or Magic Me, Sitch, Stitch, okay. I don't know why he wasn't cooperating, but... This strategy only works if he wants to cooperate, and he's not cooperating. Finally, in a good run. Uh, just thunder. That works. Round eight. Destruct got me. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're trying round nine. We're just gonna start at round nine. I need one enemy. That works. That works. You're gonna work? Do what you need to do. Hopefully I could just beat this round with no issues whatsoever. That would be nice if there were no issues. Right now, same strat. Get to one HP by some attack. I don't know which, and then do this like three times. I wonder if it would be worth getting rid of the purple enemy. I don't know. I'm not sure if it would be worth it. Well, either way. I'm really hoping to get this done. And it's like the same amount of enemies. 
So as long as I set it up correctly, it should only take the same amount of time. Then I just need to beat this fight and then Herc and that's it. Oh, I need I need to set up a work command. There's like there's commands I just need to set up and I just never did. So I already know that the two smacks from the purple enemy is enough to bring me down to 1 HP. careful. I gotta be very careful. Okay. Okay, what is the strategy then? We had the right idea. Getting smacked by you is good enough. One bullet from the purple guy is not enough. It might bring me to red, but it's not enough. If only I didn't get the HP regen whenever he did this. Hmm. Let me think. The problem is, uh, I need the purple guy to not be on the ground. It, you know what? It, I was gonna say it might be good. It might be a good idea to set up magnet, but I can't always set up magnet. Actually, I won't be able to set up magnet. Damn it! Not unless I set it up first before healing. That's an idea. Oh my god. Okay. You just wanted to target me. You must hate my guts. I mean, to be fair, this must be very annoying for them. It's not doing damage. It's just annoying. If only there was a way for me to take small amounts of chip damage to get my health low enough, but oh well, not much I could really do. Okay. As soon as Stitch disappears, I'm setting up Magnet. Actually, I can do that over here. Uh. Okay. It seems like those two shots have different oh, have different power. There's a different power set to them. That works. Okay. So not a grab, but the dancers can hit me. That's good to know. But sadly, after this attack, the dancers are going to attempt to use the grab, and I know that's stronger. The berserkers will probably also go for... Uh, its attack as well. So 
I don't, I don't know what else I could do. I think I just have to get hit by the purple enemy, and it has to be the correct attack. I think if it's grounded and does the... Like, it tries to shoot at me. I think I need to avoid that. If, however, it goes for... The aerial attack and shoots at me... I can... I, I think I can get hit by that twice. I think I could get hit by it twice. My god, he is way up there. I was gonna say, like... Like, he was after me. As soon as he, like, disappeared off camera and was far enough away, he's just like, no, I'm going after you. Yeah, I think I have to get hit by the purple enemy. And either he has to hit me with the physical attack twice, or he has to hit me with the jump uh, bullet two times. So yeah, this one. Never mind. I can only get hit by that once. Okay, I wasn't sure. Um... Oh, oops. It just kind of seems like he's not going to go for... Uh, he's not going to go for that physical attack. We know the drill. Um, I think if he goes for that, the where he shoots the bullets in the air again, I think I am going to dodge the onslaught, but then get hit by the big blast. And see if I can survive a hit there. Because I thought I could survive two of those bullets, but no, I can't. I thought I had the HP. I don't even have the defense. I know Peter's not going to be good. Peter's not going to help me. I won't get enough baubles. I have to rely on Stitch. Oh my god, how, how high does the ceiling go? <laughs> I mean, this is just funny, but... Look at him. He's real... He's far up there. Okay, almost there. Uh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The dancers weren't going for their grab. Can we... That works. If the Berserkers jump at me, that's enough. Okay, good to know. You know...
What if I just get try to get rid of you? Yeah, what if I get rid of what if I get rid of him? He's the biggest threat here. Gotta be careful. There we go. That's the most annoying enemy out of here. Yeah, it's one less enemy, but honestly, I'd rather get rid of him. I think I could get through without him. Just means less baubles, but I should be able to make it fine. Stitch was able to stay out for a little bit longer. I'm probably gonna get out of the red though. In that case, I might as well heal and then dismiss. Maybe heal, but stitch, refill my MP if possible, and then dismiss. Oh, he's done. Never mind. Okay. Avoid this hit. This one works. Let's hope this is enough. This might be enough. We'll wait it out. I won't get baubles from Hercules, so I have to get my 10,000 in this round specifically. Hope it works. If I have to, I'll get hit again. There's a chance I might have to do that. What the? What's with the camera? Why was it being all weird? Also, why can't I go into first person? That's weird. I can't go into first person. Oh, it's because I'm locked on. Okay. We are at... 9,000. I think I will have to set this up one more time. Or I risk it with Peter Pan. could risk it with Peter. Now nah, that works. Keep Stitch around a little bit longer. To do. 
I think I messed this up. Okay, let's see. I can heal. Gotta be careful. Nope. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna give that one more try. I have a... It's actually harder to make it there. If I... Don't... Okay. Getting rid of the purple one... Actually... Hinders, hinders it a lot more. Oh. Uh, not what I meant to do. The other option is just to start from the very beginning, but then when I get to here, I set up Stitch instead and do what I did. Set this up, get rid of the purple guy while he's weakened. Or, or you know what I could do? Uh, I could start from round one, do that twice, go through the rest of the rounds, and then, uh, once I go through the rest of the rounds and end up here, I set up Stitch one last time and that should be enough. Actually, we're gonna do that instead. We're gonna do that instead. Sadly, we gotta still deal with... Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with all, all of the fights by doing this, but... Setting up round 9 correctly so I can get rid of the purple enemy without much trouble will be huge. No. Dang it. That's not going to work either. Come on. No. Come on. Damn it. I don't know how to get... There we go. Okay, we'll set this up twice. I mean, theoretically, I could just get all three done here, but then we're risking the pull point thing, so... Yeah. If, if I don't make it through this attempt, I gotta call it because I got some stuff to do. I really wanted to get the score in this video, but oh well. So if we could get everything set up correctly. Yeah, I guess getting rid of the purple guy just, uh, because there's one less bobble to get, it just added up, or in this case, it didn't add up. Because I couldn't get the score, and Stitch was gone, I couldn't summon Peter, I was out of ideas. Okay. 
Perfect. Oh, right, the MP. Forgot about that. So yeah, once we get past the 6,000 mark and Stitch is almost done, we'll continue the fight. Okay, we're almost there. Three more drive gauge to go. Definitely gonna make it over 6,000. It will probably be. I don't even know if it's gonna get to 6,500. It... I think it will. Yeah, 6,500. could summon Peter, but relying on Magnet is way more safe. Oh. One decided to self-destruct. I guess that helps. Oh my god. I got stuff to do. Dang it. Of course I get hit by a self-destruct. I hate it when they do that. Well, if only I... whatever. Here's what I'm thinking. I mean, I made some progress, not as much as I would like. So, I would, But I do have to call it. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. Kingdom Hearts on Wednesdays. The other four days is Bloodborne. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube. They're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the About page. Sadly, I couldn't do much as much today as I wanted. I think next week, I'm going to get that score done. And instead of doing Hades Cup, we're going to go back to data rematches. I think that'll be the plan for next week. And sadly, I couldn't. Uh, sadly, I couldn't get the score. Anyway. Uh, have a good day. Later.